Hey guys, you have to forgive my voice and a bit of the shaking from, you know, weaning off. A lot of things have been happening lately and yesterday was one of, it felt like the hardest days that I have been through in a long time. And I'm not saying that poor me, poor me by any reasons. I don't want, I want, I want you to know that. It, you, I just wanted, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you ever have those kind of days where it feels like, well, it's not, it feels like you get a lot of bad news and it seems like one thing after the other where one thing goes wrong, then another thing, and then a, another thing, and then another thing. And, you know, the day seems like it was an awful day and doesn't pick up. I feel like we've all kind of had those days, you know. And then I think of all of you and how you all go through experiences. And, you know, sometime, whatever it, they may be, sometimes it feels like we're or I'm white knuckling as hard as I can through the day. And I, I want you guys to know I will always, I mean, lean on me as well because I will white knuckle whatever you're going through with you because we're all fighting something. That's really the most, I feel that is the message of it all. And I, I came across a I came across an amazing story and it's regarding elephants when they are uh, per performing or are supposed to be trained to be in the circus they are taken away from their mothers I think between like 18 to 20 something months and are led away by a bar, you know, a metal bar, um, by another elephant with all the baby elephants leaving their mothers. And what they do is they put shackles on the baby elephants in order to train them. And what it teaches them after six months of the, being in this environment, it teaches them to stay completely where they are they completely stay shackled they will not move outside whether or not a rope is on anymore and that made me reflect so much on drawing a parallel i've always felt shackled you know and then when the shackles weren't there anymore i still kept myself in prison you know and one thing that happens to baby elephants even as they grow up they're left with scars from the ropes and I was thinking we are all left with scars you know we all have different reasons different false beliefs about ourselves you know and we replay this and it becomes a lot some lies that we start to believe you know about ourselves and i am absolutely absolutely guilty of that and i just felt that it was such a reflective comparison that we do imprison ourselves in our minds especially because we're taught certain things or whatever, we might arrive to this point differently and our wounds may be different, but they're all collateral damage. They're all still wounds. And we can look at that scar, you know, I have a lot of scars I've developed, but it's a reminder. To me, they're not ugly. It's something that I'm, we made it through, and if I had not learned anything at all, that would be the biggest sin. I, I don't know how else to put it. The biggest sadness of all if, if I don't learn from that, and I just wanted to share that. 
and just having that revelation that it is not in just our world it's in even animals go through this kind of training of meant psych psychological restriction and i just wanted to say that you guys have helped heal me so much and this is absolutely the least i can do you know how do you feel about producing these videos to be honest they've helped really for me it's exponentially impacted positively my recovery to where it could have been i've been committed to recovery you know maybe eight ten years and that probably i think i read somewhere that might be the average but to say that i'm really really beating this thing now it really wasn't as long as i thought it'd be the fact was i was changing behaviors but not changing the false beliefs and that took a few years to rewrite and it's still I, you can tell i'm still rewriting those negative negative self-talks that's why i don't call this an eating disorder and I'll refer to it as human condition. I feel we all kind of believe those awful lies that we've been programmed about ourselves. I mean, we don't think this of other people, but we are so cruel to ourselves. Like after that baby elephant, once the shackles are off, we still stay there. And if we don't learn from our scars, we'll never, there won't be healing, you know? real healing so i just wanted to share that and say thank you for giving me this gift of healing just feeling love and loving back that's that's what life is about you know it's relationships no weakness in that so crap those rainbows and poop those unicorns whatever you need to do to make you smile there ain't nothing wrong with it throw on some fun band-aids you know try to bring a little joy to your life you know just like music and fun stuff and love yourself back i'm going for four seconds i mean what you said say it again Four seconds. Oh, I was trying to milk more time. I know. It was being tricky. I think that was actually me timing it correctly that <laughs> time. I love you guys so much. I really absolutely do.